Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Florida Atlantic was all over the map. They were as high as number four on some ballots. They were as low as 17 on some ballots. And I I don't know. How do you feel about them? Where do you stand on Florida Atlantic? It's just, it's, they are a tough team for me to kind of peg because they were so good last year and they made the run to the final four. Um, but it's also a mid-major. Like every time I feel like we overhype these mid-majors, it never ends up uh, leading to them having that same kind of season the next year. Yeah, I think the question is, are they more Wichita state E or are they more St. Bonaventure E from just a couple of years ago where everybody was kind of like, should we really put the Bonnies in the top 10? And then they just had a horrible season. I don't know. Like, I, I think it's fair and probably correct to have them in the top 10 heading into this season, mostly because we are in an era where we just saw uh, the the benefits of age and the benefits of continuity lead to success for four teams that made it to an, a, a final four. And I think going into next year, like this offseason seems even crazier than last year's offseason as far as turnover, as far as guys jumping around from contender to contender, chasing the bag. And I'm not saying that's bad for the game, but I am saying the teams that have avoided that to a significant degree, I think we'll reap the benefits of that. Florida Atlantic being one of the best at that in my mind, as far as who they're returning, as far as the success they had last year. So I'm in, I think I'm a little higher on them than most. Like I would not shudder if you have this team like sixth or seventh overall, I would not put them lower than 10th. So I'm very comfortable with us with the number seven ranking. Yeah. I think that they're, that's the sweet spot for them, right? It, it's to me, it's, I don't I don't think that they're better than Marquette. I, I have a very difficult time betting against Houston. It, you know, I, it feels very uncomfortable having a Houston team outside the top five heading into the preseason based on what they've done in recent years. But I'm not totally sold on Tennessee. I'm not totally sold on Creighton. I'm not totally sold on Gonzaga. The rest of the top 25 we'll get into. There's a lot of question marks for all these teams. So I'm good with it. They went 35 and three yet last year and they made a final four and they bring everybody back in an era when everybody transfers. So let's go. I'm all in on the owls. And I promise, Greg, I'm not at all biased because they're a part of the field of 68 tip off. Not at all. I'm not trying to build not. up hype for that event at all. Nope. No, nah, wouldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Our partner for today's episode is Athletic Greens. I started taking AG1 during the college basketball season, and I loved the impact that it had on my energy levels. I'm a big coffee in the morning guy. But by the time that the afternoon would hit, I needed another boost. AG1 helped me tremendously, especially on those days when I didn't want to get up off the couch and go hit the gym. Their tagline is, AG1 is comprehensive health and the power of habit in one. And man, that could not be more true. It's nearly impossible to eat and drink in a healthy manner in the month of February and the month of March when you are in my business. And AG1 was exactly the supplement that I needed to improve my gut health and cover my nutritional basis for the day. I've continued that into April. I've continued that into May, and I'm going to continue that the rest of the summer. All I have to do is mix a scoop of AG1 with some water or maybe add it into a smoothie and I'm ready to go. Do it after lunch and you'll be ready to go for the rest of the day. If a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com backslash field68. That's field68, F-I-E-L-D, the number six, the number eight, and you can get yours now. So check it out and help support this show. Thanks. Thank you for watching The Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.